Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have something crazy, crazy, crazy cool that we're actually seeing reported on that's also been kind of leaked through some pretty big patents in regards to the PlayStation 5. And one of the biggest things I think a lot of folks out there are trying to go and get, which is the PlayStation 5 backwards capability. Now, that's actually kind of a really big, huge, huge thing that basically Xbox has. If you guys want to, you can go and utilize pretty much almost any game on the Xbox ecosystem. System, even on your Xbox Series X and S. And to me, that's actually one of the coolest things out there because there's so many big retro gamers, as well as also just a good chance in a huge market of people who want to go buy, pick up, get, stream, whatever it is, a lot of games out there. So we have some really cool stuff we're going to show you guys, and as well, it's just always cool to go and see because this is actually one of the bigger critiques that PlayStation has, and also a huge one that Xbox has. But with all of this coming together, this actually once again takes another step away from the Xbox and one more step forward for the PlayStation 5. I have no idea if that metaphor was any good, but hopefully it was. So let's go and dive on the video itself. If any of you guys are brand new, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc, digital console, and controller. Twitter and Twitch stream as well, link down below. And sign up for Weeble, deposit $100. You guys go get free stock and free money. So let's go and dive into the actual video itself and let's go and talk about it so kind of the big thing i want to go and kind of mention over here the main gusto of this video is that playstation 5's backward capability for ps2 ps3 ps1 maybe even vita games probably not though but depending on how what they want to conclude is actually maybe possible and as well is also now currently patented which basically means that there is the technology already listed which also means that it might actually start coming in the very near future. So this is really, really cool to go and talk about over here. So I want to, I have this article over here that kind of goes and showcases the kind of highlights over here because a certain uh, Twitter user over here, which is Sean McKilroy, if I said it correctly, actually went and saw this too, in, which is very, very intriguing. So let's go and talk about this. Over here, we have someone from PlayStation Lifestyle basically stating the renowned Sony engineer Mark Cerny, which I'm sure if you guys are like super, super invested in the whole gaming sphere, you guys have probably heard Mark Cerny before, especially when it comes to PlayStation, PlayStation News, has now reportedly filed a patent that would seemingly allow the PlayStation 5 to play older games via or via backwards capability. Specifically, the patent describes a method to change the clock frequency of a console's hardware, which is actually very intriguing to as well kind of note. Also, I'm kind of in the middle of over here, so I'm going to put over here. Uh, basically, for that, this would allow the newer system to run an application that is meant for an older version of the system by synchronizing the processor's operations, potentially making the PlayStation 5 backwards capable with the PS3, PS2, and the original PS1. And I'm sure you guys already know as of now, the PS4 is really kind of a given. A lot of games are kind of like someone in the same system. That's why we're going to have Horizon Forbidden West up on the PS4 and PS5, God of War, it's Ghost of Tsushima, and all those other various games too as well. So, just letting you guys all know, it's very, very intriguing to go and see this. So, the big kind of thing to also know, too, is that I'd be kind of more curious if it's somehow also in like an emulation style, because it's saying more of running an application that is meant for more older versions of the system, but I'm not really necessarily sure how that would fully formulate. Maybe it's just more so like kind of doing like a weird internal rollback, a rollback. If you guys ever had like, you know, like an old PC or stuff like that, you can kind of actually roll back the system. So I wonder if maybe they just have like separate installs for older various like types of like, say the PS2 software, PS3 software. But as well, I feel like most folks would probably just more so want to have an internal emulator. Now, I'm not that smart when it comes to this. So I'll just own up to it. But the idea in my head seems really cool on how much potential you can basically install on your PlayStation. And it depends on the firmware, it depends on the software and all that. But this actually seems really, really cool. So I want to go give us uh, some credit over here to Sean, which basically goes and shows the actual patent itself, which to go and zoom in on over here for you guys which you guys can probably go and see on over here look at the dates too as well it's more of a recent side also here from mark cerny which obviously once again is meant from playstation so the big thing to note over here backwards capability through the use of spoof clock and fine grain frequency control now if any of you guys are really really smart you guys want to go and chime in some more kind of in depth on this maybe if we see more articles or more information i'll give you guys an update for it but it's very intriguing to go and see that this is now finally basically patented, which means that there's actual like legal stuff tied on into this uh, development technology and also might be good for all future consoles. As well as also a new high speed save data storage for cloud gaming too as well. I'm not sure if that actually has any tie with that when it comes to Sony or not, but it's very intriguing to go and see. As well, we also have a little picture over here too as well that Sean also tweeted with a backwards capability with the PS5 native mode 
PS4 Legacy Mode, and then PS4, PS4 Legacy Mode 2 as well. So there's just a lot of like what ifs, because this is like more of like an internal system. And basically, like I said, this is probably something that Sony really wants to have a big major up on because the PlayStation is falling behind the Xbox for basically backwards capability, especially when a lot of the games are also available on PC. And as you guys know, it's very easy to go play a game even from like 1990 on my PC right now, if I just want to go and find it, emulate it and check it out. So it's very cool to see. I love seeing this technology floating around. So while the patent itself doesn't mention PlayStation consoles by name, it's worth noting that Sony has been lacking in the classic games department compared to competitors, which I've kind of been harping out a lot throughout this uh, video. While services like PlayStation Now and PlayStation Plus do offer some older games via emulation, you're out of luck when it comes to most PlayStation 2 and PSX era games. Comparatively, Xbox head Phil Spencer has been outspoken about the importance of game preservation and emulation. So I also agree on that too as well. So I'm one of those people, although I'm sure the most biggest market comes to more of the PS5, AAA games, PS4 games as of now, the multiplayer games, the Fortnites, you know, Rocket Leagues or whatever. There is always a really kind of big niche market for older games. And I'm actually someone who's included on that. Now, I'm not that old. I'm only 27. But when it comes to the age of that, there's a lot of old school games that I genuinely really, really enjoyed playing. And if I could, I would love to play again, especially a lot of PS2 era type style games. And as well, if you guys have kind of seen the news that we talked about yesterday, the PS Now is also kind of somewhat being changed around. As you guys know, we've been talking about the PS5 Project Spartacus, which is the combination of the PS Plus and PS Now. So as we see this, a lot of this put together leads to a lot of really good, potentially awesome options when it comes to what they can be involved in the future. So this also can maybe be included in something like a PS, nah, PS Plus package, which also might include older games to stream and utilize. Maybe we'll try to do like a Nintendo route where they just offer more a slightly expensive system for you guys to go utilize and check out the games, et cetera, et cetera. But there's just a lot of really good possibilities when it comes to this. And I think kind of the big topic of this video, let me know if you guys just like, if this is something you guys are intrigued on. I myself, I would love it. I would love to play other games, especially, like I said, PS2 games, etc. So let me know if you guys are into that. If you guys ever utilize retro gaming, you guys ever play on your Nintendos, you, know, you guys play whatever. Because once again, like I said, there was a lot of cool Nintendo stuff that popped on up when it came to them just basically having the older retro games available, older Mario games available. Just want to know if you guys actually go utilize it in the first place. So as well to kind of wind this down, there are a lot of difficulties associated with backwards capability for modern PlayStation consoles, which would make sense around different types of infrastructures and architectures. So sometimes it's just hard to go and do that. It's like sometimes trying to use maybe like a Mac software on a desk, you know, desktop PC, like a Mac, Mac into Windows PC. It could still work. You can kind of like work it around, but sometimes if it's just not built for it or built up for it, you just can't go and utilize it, which is that's fine. That's just how the, this is how coding works, you know, on a really, really rough scale. But of course, a lot of games in the PS3 area, it's lots more to do, like I said, for more of the architecture, the console itself. And the big thing I think is the infamous cell processor. So for the PS2 and earlier consoles, however, emulation seems to be easiest route, which I would agree on too. But I think it does seem like the biggest issue would be like a PS Vita, PSP, and then also the PS3 too as well. And then kind of how I touched even how this article also mentioned, which I want to give a lot of props to there. I think they're on point for the PlayStation lifestyle. They do actually go and have a lot of the same thoughts for me. We're even covered that as of yesterday where the Project Spartacus could actually go and tie this stuff all together. Now, at this point, if they actually do do this and have a PS Plus with PS Now, with also including all those brand new games in multiplayer, with old school retro style games, maybe including anime as we've been rumoring, with Crunchyroll, Funimation, etc., and also with some of like, say, like the big HBO and PlayStation productions, such as like The Last of Us show and Uncharted show, uh, yeah, boy would probably go and cry tears of joy because that would actually be something that I can say pretty proudly would compete with the Xbox Game Pass. Now, even with all that, the Xbox Game Pass is such a good value. It's kind of hard to go and well, kind of still beat it, even with all that put together. But I will go and say all these rumors and all this kind of effort that Sony's putting into to go make this happen is very cool. So as I kind of mentioned throughout the video, if uh, old school retro gaming is something you guys are hyped up for, leave a comment down below. This is something you guys are like intrigued for, you want to hear more about, etc. Or maybe you guys are kind of like, you just like playing the brand new games that are super shiny and super cool. Nothing wrong with that. But I just want to go hear all the preference from all of you guys that watch the channel and the, the videos in the first place. So leave your comments down below. Give me your thoughts on this too as well with all these cool patent leaks. And as well, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. As well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc, digital console, and controller. 
Twitter and Twitch stream as well. Link down below. Sign up for Weeble. Deposit $100. You guys go get free stock and free money. Coinbase 2 as well. That is linked down below. And I'll give you guys a bunch more videos all throughout the rest of the day. So I appreciate you all so much for existing. And I love you guys.